welcome to my September wrap up. All the books I read in September. I read nine books. My usual quota. The first book I read was The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. This is set in a future where there are handmaids assigned to married couples where they act as a surrogate and that's their only purpose in life. It was creepy and eerie and very well written and I'll have to check out more of the author's works. Um, also, there's a TV show of this book that I like to check out too. Book number two was The Roman Spring of Mrs. Stone by Tennessee Williams. This is about a wealthy widow visiting Italy and she takes up with this young gigolo. It was a very quick and easy read um, and the writing was nice. Um, and the ending is very plot twisty and surprising. Book number three was Stuart Little by E.B. White. This is about a mouse living with a human family and his adventures trying to find his missing bird friend. I thought it was quite entertaining. Um, I laughed a lot and it was cute and had pretty illustrations. And also this ended on a cliffhanger but there's no sequel. <laughs> Book number four was The Way It Is by Donaldo Reed. This is about a teen girl who wants to be a doctor in the 60s which is seen as a no-no and her romance with a Native American which is also seen as a no-no. Um, this has serious topics discussed here, but it was told in a fun way, and the writing was spectacular, a real page turner. Book number five was Still Missing by Chevy Stevens. This is a thriller about a woman who gets kidnapped and held at this mountain cabin. And it was super suspenseful, and the ending was shocking. Book number six was The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. This was a thriller about a woman who receives a letter telling her her grandmother left her an inheritance, but it's not her grandmother and she's poor so she decides to try and take it anyway but when she goes to the like the house um, there's a bunch of secrets that are revealed and this was fun and mysterious book number seven was The Answer Is by Alex Trebek this is an autobiography of the Jeopardy game show host life um, I think it's very interesting and the book format was cute like the chapter titles were written as questions like the answers are on Jeopardy and there was lots of pictures to accompany the text as well. Book number eight was The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. This is a romance about a couple who fall in love and then meet again years later. And I haven't seen the movie yet, but I would like to. And it was heartwarming and heart-wrenching all in one. And the final book was um, Joe's Boys by Louisa May Alcott. Um, this is a sequel to Little Women and Little Men. This follows the adult lives of the students in the second book, and I thought it was just as good as the first two books, and I would like to read more from this author. So those were the books that I read in September. Let me know what you read in September, and I'll see you next month.